Well, they've got a number of trees lined up for you to select if you don't want to pick your own and cut it down, but I've got one that I just love here. <laughs> so uh, I'm joined once again by Gary. He's the owner, co-owner here at uh, the Christmas Tree Farm with his wife, Ruth. So what mm -hmm. am I going to want to do once I get home with this oh. tree? Uh, what, it depends. If you're going to, uh, if you've cut it, fresh cut, yeah. and uh, once you get it home, you're going to put it up this afternoon or this evening, you, you can put it up. But if you're going to keep it overnight, yeah. uh, we recommend keep it in the garage, keep it in a cool place, keep it in a moist place, not uh, you know in the basement near the furnace or something like that. And then uh, tomorrow morning, if you're going to put it up, or the next day, you cut an inch off the bottom. Okay. So it'll take up the water because mm -hmm. the trunk will seal up and it won't take water. So you want to... Uh, to get it into a stand that has uh, a good capacity of water, mm -hmm. a, a large tree will take four or five liters over the first night. Mm -hmm. So uh, really? that's one of the problems with some of the stands in that they don't allow enough room for water okay. once you put the trunk in. So now, um, is there any anything that I need to keep in mind in terms of where I should maybe put my Christmas tree well, in my home? Yeah, not not in front of the fireplace. Okay. So away, from, yeah, away from the fireplace, away from the vents, from your heating system. So it doesn't get and dried the, out. Yeah, so it doesn't get dried out exactly. So what have we got here? This is a uh, Christmas tree shaker, and the purpose of this is to uh, shake the tree. There might be some leaves in it. Might be a bird's nest. Uh, <laughs> probably no that. birds at this time of year, but yeah. also. Uh, you have a often up the center some of the needles will die and so you want to get rid of those off. yeah okay so. and a reminder for those who are cutting a tree you normally want to leave a foot from the bottom of the tree right i've cut this one way too high up yeah I, yeah i think so yeah. i really let you down here gary i'm so sorry are yeah, you still going to be able to uh, shake yeah. it you need yeah you need six or eight inches usually to fit in the stand but that's okay so how we'll will we make with do it. We'll make it, it'll be a short tree okay okay so we're going to shake it to get the uh any of the uh okay the debris off it are you going to hold it sure Sarah? yeah i'll hold okay, it okay i'll turn it on okay <laughs> We shake it. We'll bale it up in the mesh. And uh, do you want to do that? Yeah, now? sure. Let's bale okay. it. Okay. Do we pull it out? Yeah, put okay. It, put it through here, and then we'll pull it through. Are you going to pull it through, or do you want me? Uh, I'll push you pull. Okay. I'm going to get a bunch of. It'll okay. come out uh, bound in mesh. Okay. Now this is all set to put on the car to take home now, and then we cut this off. There's a big knife in here somewhere. There it is. Just, uh, so now, will you give people a hand uh, binding it to the roof of their cars? We give them advice, and uh, during the week we give them a hand. When okay. there's uh, 100 cars in the lot, it's hard to do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I can yeah. understand. So, uh, but we have lots. We're good with giving people advice on how to do it. Of course, perfect. And then you've got uh, the hot chocolate and the homemade oatmeal cookies. Yes, we do. As long as they last, there uh, we still have some, but we may have to give people bought cookies this weekend. We're yeah. not sure. Right. Well, because you get so busy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that might be my next stop. And of course, you've got those wreaths That's that your right. wife Ruth decorates. So. Exactly. A little bit later in the show, I'm going to team up with her, and I think she's going to show me a thing or two uh, in terms of decorating wreaths. So after this holiday season, I should be a pro at cutting Christmas trees and decorating wreaths. It's been I'm a pleasure. Sure okay, thanks for coming. <laughs> Stick around. There's still lots more coming up on CTV Morning Live.